This is the user text component. It can be found under the Rhino tab in the content section. The component can be used to add or edit user text in Rhino objects. It has three inputs and three outputs. All of them are pass-throughs. They are content, keys and values. This component has five different types of actions. I'm not going to go through all of them here. You can pause the video and check the different options. Or go to Grasshopper and test them yourself. Now the user text can be found by clicking a Rhino object and navigating to the properties and attribute user text. You can add new text by clicking here. It will have a key and a value. Now here's an example of using the component. I have two geometries here that have some user text and I am going to add values to the volume key. So I will take the geometries and calculate their volumes and then I'm going to use this user text component to bake. Now you can see that the new object has an user text that is the volume of the geometry. In this case, the original geometry does not have the new user text. Now here I have a move component and I am going to bake this too. But this geometry will not get the user text attribute for some reason. Now if I want, I can use this content with a content cache to keep on updating the geometry. Now this geometry has the volume as an updating key value pair. Now if I want to update the values with volumes multiplied by 2, I can connect the values from here and they will get the volumes as double. Now if I would change this to ensure, this would ensure that the existing values will not be updated. And if I connect the original volume here again, these values will not change. Now if I want to add more values, I can run the content through another user text component that has a new volume, that is the original volume multiplied by 2. And when I connect this here, it will add the value for the volume new key.